happy, beautiful day. It's Pete Cohen here on Psychology's Magazine Instagram page. It's Fantastic Friday. We're here every Friday. Every Friday we're here at 11 in the United Kingdom. Happy, beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Excited to be here. Excited to share. Let me know where you are in the world. Let's Let's get involved. Let's share the love. I'd love to know what part of the world are you in? Today is Fantastic Friday, so every Friday we talk about what is fantastic in the world right now. I know that's quite challenging in a world that has definitely changed beyond anything most of us could have imagined. Uh, every Tuesday at 1pm uh, in the UK, I broadcast on Psychology's Magazine's Facebook page, and at the moment we are four weeks into a whole series around zest, hope and optimism. And if you want to get involved in immersing yourselves in those really important subjects, zest, which is energy, hope, which is where you believe the future is uh, better than where you are right now, and optimism, which is really about being the best you can be. That's what optimism uh, means. Thank you for being here. Uh, feel free just to comment, where are you in the world? Because when we broadcast on Facebook, it's amazing. We have people coming from all over the world. We had people the other day in India, in Pakistan, in Australia, in South Africa, in Egypt, in America, in Canada, and of course in uh, Great Britain. So before we get stuck in with what I want to share with you today on Fantastic Friday is I want to say a massive thanks to Psychology's magazine giving me uh, this opportunity. The magazine is amazing. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the magazine, click the link in the bio and uh, become a subscriber of what I believe is the greatest magazine on earth because it's full of possibility. Thank you um, from someone who's watching me in, in, from Surrey in the UK. Where else uh, are you from uh, in the world? So what I want to talk about is um, being better. How many people do you know that would like to be better at something? What areas of your life would you like to be better? Is there an area in your life that you would like to perform better? My background is in, I am a coach. I studied psychology. I'm fascinated with gaps. I don't know whether you've ever been to London, but if you've ever been to London, you go on the underground. On some of the tube stations, the underground stations, you hear a voice going, mind the gap, mind the gap. And what they're talking about is the gap between where you step onto the train and getting on the train. And you have to be careful because if you don't mind the gap, you could step in. And you wouldn't want to do that, right? That'd be the terrible thing to happen. But most of us have gaps in our life. And for me, in the work that I do, it revolves around in most areas, if you're looking at categories, I'd say three areas that most of us are interested in advancing. How many of you would like to advance with your health and your energy? What do you reckon? Just say yes. Show me some hearts. Get involved. Let's comment. Let's make this an interactive experience rather than it just being something you look at for a few seconds and drift by because this is a big problem in the world right now. Most of us would like to be better at being more focused, less uh, distracted, but these are the three main areas that most people are interested in improving. Health and energy. Are you where you want to be with your health, your energy, your vitality? Probably not. Are you where you want to be with your wealth and your work? You know, do you want to make advancements there? Is there a gap there in your performance, in where you are, where you'd like to be? And what about in your relationships with the people that matter most uh, to you? Most of us aren't where we want to be, but what's really fascinating about human beings is the acceptance of where we are. The acceptance of this is how it is. And Psychology's magazine is all about growth. What is known as the growth mindset. Because no matter what is going on in the world right now, there is still one big thing that exists. You know what it is? It's possibility. How many possibilities are there out there for all of us? How many? Now, we could think about what isn't right, and, and, and the, the world has definitely been whoop, turned upside down, and now we're trying to turn it back again, and 
it's it's chaos you know there is so much chaos going on but there doesn't have to be chaos inside our mind and the point i wanted to talk to you about today was this thing about being better because better is not a destination right it's not a location it's not somewhere that you arrive it's like people that perhaps want to be healthy right it's not oh i've done it i've done it I've done it, I'm healthy, yay! I'll just go back to what I was doing before. That's what a lot of people do. Or the same with fit, I'm so fit. That's it, I don't need to do any fitness anymore because I'm fit, I'm toned, I'm lean, I can wear the jeans that I used to wear, I have my result. Does this make sense? Are you with me on this? Does this make sense to you? Does it? Because that's how most of us live our life. We live our life if it's some sort of destination and there is a destination. We know ultimately where we're all going to go one day. But what I'd like you to think about is the approach around always getting better because that is what human beings are designed to do. We are designed to grow. We are designed to evolve. But the challenge that you and I have is choice. You know, everything else out there relies on instinct and relies on nature to survive. Now we need those things, of course we we rely on them, but we have choice. And I really want you to think about the choices that you make each and every single day and whether those choices are moving you in a place where you're starting to close those gaps. Because if you wanna be healthier and have more energy, you want more wealth, you want more better work, whatever it is for you, you want more meaningful, impactful relationships, then it's the same thing. You, you have to work. How do I get better in all of these areas? Because ultimately, there is a price to pay. And I'm not talking about money. I'm actually just talking about the price in your effort. The price in letting go of doing things that don't serve you anymore. What do you reckon? I'd love to know. I'd love to help you and support you on your journey because ultimately we all need each other. Human beings do not do very well uh, on their own. So this is Fantastic Friday and I encourage you today, think about what's the most fantastic thing I could do that if I did every single day, I would start to close the gaps. So I would be more of who I'm capable of being. You know, someone said to me recently, they said, you know, on this journey to self-development, you want the journey always to be two miles away. (laughs) For every mile you advance, you still want another two miles to go because that is where I believe the real success and the real joy comes in life. It's who you're committed to becoming. So I want to thank you for watching today. What's your biggest takeaway from what I've just said? Feel free to reach out to me. Follow me on uh, Instagram if you want. Instagram, it's just my name. It's Pete Cohen, C-O-H-E-N underscore, Pete Cohen underscore. Follow me on Facebook if you want. And uh, if I can help you in any way, shape or form, feel free to let me know. But in the meantime, make sure uh, you subscribe to Psychologies Magazine on Facebook. You're obviously following Psychologies Magazine on here. Uh, And if you click the link in the bio, you can subscribe to the greatest magazine on earth. Any questions before we say goodbye? Let's wave at a few people. Um, I don't know if you understand what happens when you wave at people. Maybe you just get a wave. There you go. There's a few waves uh, coming at you right here, right now. I want to thank you guys uh, for being here today. I really appreciate it. Namaste. Uh, And understand that life definitely isn't easy. It's not. It's a challenge. You know, everything that grows out there has to go up against something. And for most of us, what we have to go up against is ourselves, you know. But I know that we can do it. I know that we have greatness in all of us. Uh, Thank you for being here. And uh, we will see you uh, next Friday at 11 a.m. And we'll see you on Tuesday, actually at 2 p.m., sorry, 2 p.m. on the Psychologies Facebook magazine. Thank you so much, guys. You are amazing. And we'll see you soon.